if I'm already going to be late, why not be late with coffee? Good. Hey guys, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be doing a haul with you All right guys, so my day starts with me hitting the snooze button probably two to three to four to six to 18 times before I actually realize that I have to get up and I actually have to do life today and like actually like go to school and go to the gym. So uh, I usually wake up around eight or 8.30 or nine or 9.30 depending on what I'm doing. Today I know I'm going to the gym so I know I have to get up and get get moving and shaking. So. I don't know why I look so grouchy in the morning. Um, I need to get out of the habit, but as soon as I do wake up, I do get on social media. Um, I literally check like Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat in like that order. Um, just go on and see like what I missed, um, which is also another reason why I go to sleep with the news on in case I need to wake up and like see something. Um, I'll go in and like like some stuff, um, see some notifications, then I'll go to Snap. Um, on Snap. It's weird. I mainly watch like celebrity Snapchats, not like commoners like myself. Um, I don't know why, because I think like like see the one I'm watching now, it's like he's on vacation, it just looks super nice. So um I always have water um next to my bed or I'll go get it like I did earlier. I got it from the refrigerator and I just drink some water as soon as I wake up because I'm always really thirsty and have a really, really sore throat. So, um or I just really really groggy, so I always have water. And I usually just drink that as soon as I get up. And then I finally, like, really get up after, like, crying on the inside. As you can see, I look really angry. Um, I don't know why I look so angry in the morning. But it takes me a good, like, hour or two to, like, get in, like, speaking mode. Um, since I didn't know I was going to the gym, I just uh, wanted to, like, get a snack prior. I didn't really want to sit and make, like, a big breakfast. So I knew that I had like an orange in my house and like I always have my tea kettle so I was like, you know, I had to check to make sure there was some water in there. Um, but it's always really clean. I usually refill it like every every other day. So I knew the water was good but um, I put my tea kettle on because I always have to drink tea every single day. Um, I cut up my orange that I had. I have like a few, but I cut up my orange because I was like hungry, but not super hungry. And I did not want to go to the gym on an empty stomach. And I also didn't want to eat anything like super, super, super unhealthy prior to going to the gym. So I was just like, why not eat an orange, Christina? Even though I hate how sticky they are. They're really good. So it's my little slices, my little soccer mom slices. I think it's been very cute if I do so for myself. Um, but yeah. I usually just honestly get back on my phone, which again, bad habit, and we'll watch like some TV or like Wendy Williams or something. I usually just have like literally extra clothes in case like I fall in the puddle or like sweat to death or like, I don't know, anything could happen, so, or if anybody like needs a shirt off my back. Um, I just have like tank, two tanks and a long sleeve and a short sleeve and like sweats. Um, that's also in case I want to put these on when I'm finished working out, which is what I might actually do. Um, and some Talnor in here, and then like my own lock and key, and my water bottle is here. And this Tommy Hilfiger bag my dad got me like two years ago, before I came to college, and I use it as my gym bag, so. And then OOTD for you guys to see what I'm wearing. So here I am wearing like um, these leggings that I've had for like 80,000 years. I really never know where I get a lot of my workout clothes from but these are my favorite workout um, leggings. They're high waisted and then I'm wearing like a Nike long sleeve compression shirt um, with it that I like always wear also. It's like really fitted and like it's comfortable and then like these beat up Nike because I always have to drink tea every single day. Um, I cut up my orange that I had. I have like a few, but I cut up my orange because I was like hungry, but not super hungry. And I did not want to go to the gym with an empty stomach. And I also didn't want to eat anything like super, super, super unhealthy prior to going to the gym. So I was just like, why not eat an orange, Christina? Even though I hate how sticky they are. They're really good. So it's my little slices, my little soccer mom slices. I think it's been very cute if I do so for myself. Um, but yeah. 
I usually just honestly get back on my phone, which again, bad habit, and we'll watch like some TV or like Wendy Williams or something. I usually just have like literally extra clothes in case like I fall in the puddle or like sweat to death or like, I don't know, anything could happen. So, or if anybody like needs a shirt off my back. Um, I just have like tank, two tanks and a long sleeve and a short sleeve and like sweats. Um, that's also because I want to put these on when I'm finished working out, which is what I might actually do. Um, and some towel more in here, and then like my own lock and key, and my water bottle is here. And this Tommy Hilfiger bag my dad got me like two years ago, before I came to college, and I use it as my gym bag, so. And then OOTD for you guys to see what I'm wearing. So here I am wearing like um, these leggings that I've had for like 80,000 years. I really never know where I get a lot of my workout clothes from but these are my favorite workout um, leggings. They're high waisted and then I'm wearing like a Nike long sleeve compression shirt um, with it that I like always wear also. It's like really fitted and like it's comfortable and then like these beat up Nike sneakers I've had for like ever. And then before you know it, I'm just packing up my last minute stuff that like I haven't added in and I grab uh, my tea that I made for me, put some honey in it, and I am out the door and I am headed to meet uh, Mari in our little meeting space. And it smells like me in here. Mm. I do have my scarf because, um, like I said, my throat is sore. It's actually getting a lot better, but I want to protect it and I want to be as safe as possible because I do have my legs out and I know it is cold, so... I'm still gonna try not to get sick, even though I have slash lunch, slash breakfast, slash whatever we wanna call it. Um, we got some acai bowls. I got the raw acai bowl. I'm pretty sure I'm saying that right. And at Shake Smart, it's just a swipe. So it's like, it's a new place. And personally, I'm not a fan as much as I could be. I'm not gonna bash them, but it could be better, but I still eat it. Um, and then Mario got the PB and A bowl. A lot of their stuff is like protein you can add in it and stuff like that and they also give you a peanut butter and banana sandwich or you get an almond butter and banana sandwich again personally i like the sandwich more than i like the acai bowl but i still am going there so i got the raw sea bowl raw 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 sea bowl raw i could have Raw Seibel, no, but that's not what it's called. It's like Ross called Raw Seibel, Raw Seibel. Yeah, it's like weird. They like cut off the A, and it has like a sai, um, chia seeds. I'm pretty sure these like some type of nuts, strawberries, and um, coconut flakes. Yeah, and coconut flakes. I just really wanted to make sure that I got like enough um, of like student life for people who are interested in coming into BCU. But once um, we're done with our whole little lunch session, I come home and am hyped to get out of my sweaty gym clothes and I head right into the shower. As you can see, I do my little throwback away thing. Um, then I, once I get out, I always put my tea tree oil on and my face moisturizer. I'm saving all my stuff for my morning routine video. So this is just like a little snippet of like some of my morning, like what I do like in my little routine, but I'm gonna save that. Um, this was my outfit. I actually changed like four times and I still wasn't that satisfied, but it worked. I like my makeup though. And before you know it, I am packed up and dressed and ready and headed out the door. Now I did film these um, videos two days. This is a two day like kind of video thing. So it is gonna be raining outside because this was another day. So I don't want you guys to get confused, but I grabbed my tea and I am out the door for my first class of the day, which is my diversity and media class. And it is about like a little like eight minute walk. Since I did tell you guys I have late classes, this class starts at two and ends at 3.15. Uh, most of my classes are about hour 30 and they, um, most of them are later in the day. So that's why I have so much time to do stuff. Um, these are my green members I ask if I add them in the video. Um, they're really cool. So they actually make this class very interesting and fun. Um, this class size is about 60 for anyone wondering. Um, like this room size. You will definitely be able to tell very fast. I love eating because this is like my second stop of the day after I ate. I did eat earlier, but um, I always have to go here when he's out. This is a noodles and dumplings. Um, like food truck and his dumplings are like four dollars and they are amazing so I go here like every day before I go to my second class yeah uh, this is my mask home for 60 class 
Here goes Morgan. I'll put her at right here. Somewhere. You guys can click on it and go check her out on her Instagram. But I'm starving, so I got this from this noodles and dumpling cart. I get it three times out of the week. It's like four dollars. I'm trying to give you guys a good angle. This class is like an hour and 30 minutes. Yeah. So once my second class is over, I do always head home because I know I have my late class and I want to get as much relaxation time as possible. Um, I wanted to take like a little nice route so you guys could see the park and where I lived as a freshman. So that's kind of why I went this way. I always go this way, but I actually like took my time in the rain just to show you guys. Because I have about an hour and 30 minutes before my 7 o'clock class, I do always come home and just rest, put on a movie, and mentally prepare myself to head out at 6.30ish. Um, but today I actually left really late because <laughs> I was just taking my time. So Even though I'm about to be late to my class, I'm going to get this coffee because... If I'm already going to be late, why not be late with coffee? Duh, that's my logic. So, and she doesn't start taking attendance till like 10 minutes after, so I have some time. Just, I, and I know there's not gonna be a line at Einstein's and Einstein's is right next to my class. So if it wasn't in that predicament, I wouldn't do this, but I still got 10 minutes. So maybe I can make it, probably not, but let's try. I made it to Einstein at a decent time and then I was heading to my poly class. My class does let out at 9 so I am used to getting home pretty late but um, it's, it's always super unpredictable. Um, I was going to go to the library but that's also a fire hazard, I need to move that. I was going to go to the library but I have an, um, like two big assignments to 11.59 that I have not started yet and well I've started them but like they're nowhere near finished so I was like if I go to the library I'll be distracted and be talking so I am home trying to get these assignments done there was nothing on my computer so I'm trying to find out what assignments was Uploading I talking stuff. about eating a bagel this is literally like hashtag college you know um yeah like I don't have a really perfect day in the life um it's not super cookie cutter it's very unpredictable like it is right now um this is my dinner um <laughs> No, um, this is what me and Mario will do is get food, but we, she does have, she also has a time to do 59, but we'll see what happens if we go get something after that. Or, I know you shouldn't eat past, like, what, like, nine, but literally, we don't care. Um, I have the spaghetti in there, I might warm up that. And I have on, like, This Is Us. So, literally, if you're an incoming college student and you encounter one of these nights, usually one of those nights you just look back on and it's just, you just cherish these. But at the same time, as you can see, I still have on my scarf from class, so. In no way, shape, or form am I endorsing this behavior because I do realize that um, being out late is like bad. So if my parents are watching this, <laughs> I do not go get food at 12 o'clock because they hate when I tell them I do this. So, again, I'm not endorsing this behavior. I'm just showing you guys a day in the life. And it's like 12.30 and I'm about to go to I Have Memoria. So, you know, why keep it open if students can't go? So, yeah. As you guys can see, I do most of the night. Just insane, but... I mean, I have class tomorrow at 4 p.m., so I really never care, so yeah. So I'm going to end the video here. I hope you all enjoyed this crazy but realistic day in the life. I will see you in my next video. Peace. Hey, guys. And welcome back to my channel.